Welcome to another human comedy event and today we are going over the LSAS 1 hour So there are some restrictions for this event Firstly, your vehicle has to be on comfort compound tires So that's either comfort hard, mediums or comfort softs It can be a road car or a racing car It has to be under 460 performance points or less And it has to be from 1979 or less and nitrous is prohibited so you can have no not so there are some restrictions and for me the best choice i picked was the bot 595 ss now this is no ordinary bot because this bot is actually engine swapped with the engine from the honda civic making it extremely fast now we'll be honest with you this build is extremely sketchy, it's hard to handle, but the minute you get a grasp and understand how it works, you are gonna be an absolute rocket ship. The vehicle is extremely fast, like almost too fast for its own good, because when we look and see what the tuning sheet is looking like, well, in fact, it is just simply detuned to the max, because that's how much power the vehicle has we gotta remember the bot is a very short wheelbase it turns in quickly it's extremely lightweight so with that being said let's take a look at the tuning sheet so first things first we do see that the vehicle has a k20 from the honda civic which is a 2020 civic so if we look at the tuning sheet we see what tires we are in comfort soft tires now we can't run comfort softs for the entirety of the event because we see it is only a 1x multiplier when it comes to tire wear then we see we have a fully customizable suspension with 105 in the front and 110 in the rear for body height adjustments for our anti-roll bars we see six for both front and rear for dampening ratio compression we have 30 for both front and rear dampening ratio expansion is about 45 for both front and rear natural frequency is 2.60 in the front and 2.85 in the rear negative camber angle is 3.0 in both front and rear for the toe angle we see we have no angle in the front and for the rear we have 0 0.30 being pointed inward for our fully customizable differential we see an initial torque of 5 acceleration sensitivity set at 5 and braking sensitivity being set at 26 for downforce we have downforce in the front being set at 100 and 150 in the rear for our fully customizable ecu we see 70 being the percentage it sits at so it is fully detuned then for ballast we see a maximum output of 200 and a ballast positioning of negative 50 then for a power restrictor we have it set at 70 now for the ballast positioning you can actually change this and adjust it but you can actually change and adjust it because we are still under the PP limits so if you want to move it to a rear you can to just add extra weight to the rear wheels so you can have some customization there for transmission we have a fully customizable racing transmission being set at 260 kilometers per hour with no adjustments made to the manual gearing then for turbo charges we see we have a normal aspiration we do not have an upgraded turbo we have no anti-lag equipped no intercooler equipped we have a normal air cleaner, normal silencer, normal exhaust manifold. For a braking system, we see we are using the standard brakes with racing brake pads. Now, we see for clutch and flywheel, we have that set to racing. Then for engine tuning, we see we have a bore up, stroke up, engine balance tuning, polished parts, high lift camshaft S, titanium connecting rods and pistons, a racing crankshaft, all installed in the vehicle and we cannot forget we also have waste reduction stage 1, 2 and 3 equipped in the vehicle as well as increased body rigidity. So that is the tuning setup for the bot. And now when it comes to using a vehicle on a circuit, as I said, it is sketchy at first but we see that it makes up enormous amounts of ground on the vehicles you're going to be racing against. So when the event starts, I slapped it on over into fuel map level. I put it on fuel map level six, a leanest mix, so I knew I did not need to go into the pits for the longest possible time. 
and we see that even though it was on fuel map level 6 it made light work of overtaking the vehicles in front of us so it has more than enough power but once again it is the braking and the turning that you are going to need to watch out for i will be the first to admit this was an extremely sketchy build but somehow i still managed to get the event done and managed to get goal hence why i'm posting it this vehicle is tricky to work out but honestly take your time adjust the settings to what makes you feel best use my setup as a base but honestly even with this base you can get this event done we see that i actually make it up into first position by the end of the second lap so it didn't actually take that long and we see by the end of the hour we actually completed 24 laps so it was a very lengthy event and the thing is when it comes to setting lap times my lap times were a bit all over the place because the vehicle is a bit all over the place but i did see myself setting first an initial at first a fastest lap of a 2 minute 26 second lap and then i was averaging lap times around the 2 minute 27 2 minute 28 second mark just around that mark but we just kept going and going and going and the thing is with this vehicle i actually ended up spinning out about two times during this event and even though i spun out twice in this event i still managed to finish being 23 seconds in front of second place that just goes to show you how fast this vehicle is so on fuel map level 6 i managed to go all the way up until the end of the 17th lap before i need to dive into a pit when i dived into a pit all i did was refuel the vehicle and that was it once i filled it all the way to 100 percent now when you come out of pits you can set the vehicle on over to fuel map level 1 initially i had set it on over to fuel map level 3 but i realized no, I can set on fuel map level 1 and still make it to the end of the event. So that's exactly what I did. And I saw myself traveling at absolutely insane speeds around the circuit, making it a bit harder to handle the vehicle but still having a lot of fun. And before I knew it, that was the race over. 24 laps were completed. And honestly, this vehicle is absolutely nutty. I did see alternate vehicles to use so hopefully I will be updating and making a different vehicle to use around the circuit because I'll be honest with you I am not too chuffed with the bot but hey it still managed to get the event done and this is after my poor driving skills so if you're really good at taming a vehicle this is a go-to method for you so that's just something to keep in mind if you are struggling with this event and with that being said uh let me know in the comment section if it did help you and with this being said i will catch you guys in the next video peace